Hey there Falcons, welcome back to the Breakdown Board. I'm here with John McCann and we're going to be going over some of the past strategies classes used during the Relay-a-thon and the Obstacle Course. Let's get into it. So we start out here in the beginning of the race, very quick start from all classes and a quick wrap especially from the juniors here. Great speed, great speed. Fantastic speed. Now we see we get off to a run. Now let's stop it here. So some people would think this is an accident, but that's absolutely incorrect. This was extremely deliberate in the sense that they want to get into their competitors' minds. Isn't that right, John? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They want them thinking, oh, they're out of the race, but they know we're still in it. And we have proof of that as we see a very quick get up and they're immediately back into the competition. We now move on to the balance beams where all classes are still very much so in it. And we see here almost every single class gets off to the exact same start. We go to the balloons and now we're into ring toss. Look at the flick of that wrist yeah, right there. Excellent SWAT. Illegal, but excellent SWAT. Excellent. Great form. Hard. Nice. Very quick paddle run. And we're now into the ball throw with Austin Weir. Austin Weir showing some heat right there. He's throwing really good. Now let's stop it right here, John. I have never seen so much hustle out of one person in the Relay-a-thon before. I hope this year people can live up to those expectations because that was fantastic, was it not? Probably most hustle I've seen all Relay-a-thon. Absolutely. We keep moving. We now get to the dramatic finish. And let's stop it again. What a play. He is jumping over the competition to grab his class flag. John, what do we like to call that? It's just extra effort. Just extra effort. Extra effort. We now see it gets even more dramatic as the wet field comes into play. Classes are sliding into the finish with a junior victory. Excellent finish by Lucas Harrison. Props to him. Laying it all out for his class. And the celebration afterward, much deserved. We now move on to the obstacle course. Now as we see Tyrese Donaldson hustling through the course to start off. Now as you can see, getting through that first hole is a major key and especially this rock wall. I can tell you from past experience, that was one of the most difficult things to do. And also, getting out of the course is a big deal as well. The fastest class here, again, the juniors, and we see the celebration again. 